Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be discussing the differences between an osteopath and a chiropractor. So both osteopathy and chiropractic were found in the late 1800s. The fundamental concept is that health is a natural harmony and comes from within. Both of the philosophies agree that the body heals itself. Osteopathy on one hand was founded by a guy called Andrew Taylor Steele with the main principle being that the blood and lymphatics need to flow freely to do their job but through trauma, physical, emotional stress, that causes the tissues to contract and compress, which obstructs uh, the flow, and this was considered to be the onset of many diseases. Osteopathic manipulation to restore uh, normalized blood flow, which leads to healing of the ligaments in the connective tissues. David Daniel Palmer, on the other hand, founded chiropractic in 1895, with the main principle being the nervous system, your brain, spinal cord and nerves, the communication between your brain and body and the spine, the stresses of life again can interfere with that uh, through a vertebral subluxation which can compress the nerves and start to cause problems to where the nerves go to. So chiropractors will check for vertebral subluxation and when necessary use chiropractic adjustments to correct them. To improve and maintain motion and function of your spine, relieve pain, and enable the fullest expression of life potential traveling along your nervous system. And so that is the philosophies and the differences between an osteopath and chiropractor. So the second part of this video is how is an osteopath different to a chiropractor when it comes to their assessment? Well, an osteopath's assessment is going to use, a, uh, not really use equipment, but they're gonna find they're going to use their case history, their palpatory findings, any orthopedic testing to formulate a treatment plan for you. They're often going to treat you on your first visit when you see them. They are not trained to take or read x-rays, but they can refer for imaging or other tests if they feel it's required. Chiropractors, on the other hand, are also going to use their case history findings, palpatory findings and skills to formulate a care plan for you. But they're also going to tend to use uh, if required, clinically at least, they're going to take x-rays, Read they can take and read x-rays where cl clinically required, uh, and some chiropractors will actually have digital x-ray facilities on site for a quick turnaround and analysis, and also using things like a digital posture app to understand really how your posture could be contributing to your problem, or actually even making it worse. Some chiropractors are going to treat you also on your first visit, but in contrast, some chiropractors are going to go away and analyze your findings and then bring you back in for a report of findings before any care is given to you. So the approach to client care is at times different, with osteopaths focusing on the muscular, spinal system and the entire body. Treatment from an osteopath is going to usually involve some massage, uh, some muscle, uh, uh, like physical therapy, some body adjustments to all different parts of the body and soft tissues known as osteopathic manipulation. Whereas chiropractors on the other hand are gonna focus on your nervous system and your spine specifically to correct vertebral subluxation, to first of all find them, analyze them, correct them and leave them alone so that then the body can heal. Chiropractors do tend to use more high speed but low force corrections to restore function and motion, whereas osteopaths are usually going to use more passive kind of repetitive techniques that stretch the muscles and ligaments surrounding the joint, improving the function that way. Now, although this is more common, chiropractors do and can use more uh, of these passive mobilizations uh, when indicated or based on your preference, as well as osteopaths can use more uh, high speed, low force corrections when indicated as well. Osteopaths do tend to uh, make their treatments longer, but it really depends on the objective of the care. I will say this, it doesn't necessarily mean better results and vice versa, but usually you're looking around 30 minutes for an osteopathic treatment. A chiropractic treatment is gonna range between 15 and 30 minutes uh, based on, on what they find. Believing that you know, if you adjust the area that needs to be uh, only uh, and then leave it alone, uh, there's more energy available for growth and healing. So that is the differences when it comes to assessment between an osteopath and a chiropractor as well as the philosophy and the differences there. Stay tuned for the next video where we're going to talk about the similarities between an osteopath and a chiropractor.